Sometimes we need to create calculations that affect how measures get computed, but are not themselves measures. These are calculated members that are part of a dimension, and are sometimes called custom members. Here's an example of the MDX script for a calculated member that we're adding to the product dimension. The purpose of this member is to have a value for all the product categories except for bikes. Notice that the name identifies the dimension and hierarchy as well as the parent member. The key components of the expression that we use for this calculation are an aggregate function, which happens to be aggregate here, but could be sum, min, max, count, or average, and a set. A set is a collection of members from the same dimension and hierarchy. Notice the set is enclosed in braces. Here we're defining a set that contains specific members, accessories, clothing, and components. In other words, we have explicitly listed every member of the category hierarchy except for bikes and the all member. So when we include this custom member in our query or in the bids browser along with other measures, for each of those measures, analysis services will apply the aggregate function to this set of members. So if we have a measure like sales amount, then analysis services will sum up the sales amount for accessories, the sales amount for clothing, and the sales amount for components to produce a value for other products. Now the reason we use the aggregate function here rather than the sum function is because we have some measures that are additive like sales and costs and we have some measures that are non-additive like profit margin percent. With non-additive measures we need analysis services to sum up the component parts of the expression first. So with profit margin percent that means we need to sum up the numerator separately from the denominator and then do the division and that's exactly what the aggregate function does. Now because we have different measures involved we need to use a conditional expression with our format string. Notice here we have a case statement which is perhaps a little bit easier to read when we have different conditions than trying to use a nested if function. Also we have another property here that we cannot access in form view, language. Sometimes Excel or other presentation layer tools won't know how to interpret a format string, so we can use the language property to give it a hint.